everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Um, you guys have all asked many times for a race car setup uh, video. So today we are going to get ready for South Georgia Motorsports Park. We're going to do a steering setup, so kind of how we set up for our alignment. We're going to do a chassis setup going over some of uh, the rear bars and uh, what we're looking for in that. And then we're also going to go over the scaling portion and uh, how we set that up. But I want to thank everybody for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, all of that. We do appreciate it. And uh, we're going to go ahead and looks like you've already started to get set up for the alignment. I've got it set up for it. I want to put a disclaimer on here. This is how we do it. It's not necessarily the only way to do this, but I'm going to show you what works for us and our team. Let's go ahead and uh, get ready and let's go over some alignment specs and what uh, exactly we're looking for. Okay, so I've rolled the car forward, got the head put on it, rolled it forward, made all the uh, measurements on there. So what this is, is your camber, caster, and toe. On the uh, driver's side, we've got a negative 0.8 degree of camber, but we've got more over here on the passenger side, so we're going to try to get rid of a little bit of that. Now the camber is just how your tires are sitting either out or in at the top. Caster, we're down a little bit of caster on the right front. We're going to bring that back up. Caster allows the car to come back on center. Um, if you've got your caster evened out, it's going to drive straight. If they're off, it may pull to one side or the other. So the driver might be fighting it going down the track if you don't have your caster correct. And then, of course, the toe on here. We're going to put that as close to zero as we possibly can. Now, you'll also see down here where the rear end is pointing to the left. We'll address that with the suspension changes that we're going to be making. So you we just you re-rolled everything so you you changed the caster and camber already and what else are, what, what did you get out of that real quick? Okay, so we changed the caster and camber on this just to make sure that they would match cross from left to right side. If I were to run more caster, uh, that's gonna make the steering wheel come back to center quicker, you said, correct? It's gonna come back to center quicker, but it's also going to make your steering a little bit more, more touchy, okay. more crisp. Caster is also compounded or looked at on total wheelbase. Okay, so the longer your wheelbase, the easier it is to control that car going down the track. That's why you see a lot of these guys with like the uh, the Fox body Mustangs and such like that. Those cars are quicker to react going down the track. So the longer wheelbase, like the Pro Mods and such like that, that go up to the 114, 115 wheelbase, they're easier to drive down the track because so, you've got more wheelbase. So with a longer wheelbase, would you say you can get away with a little bit more caster with a short wheelbase since it reacts quicker? You want a little bit less caster? Exactly. Cool, okay. Yep, so now you're gonna take care of the toe. Yep, we gotta get the toe taken care of on this and uh, then we're gonna be moving on to setting up the suspension for the rear end. So, we're at the back. We're gonna go over the, kind of what the bars back here are doing and uh, what, what we're kind of setting up. Al's gonna give you a quick overview of it uh, because uh, after we do the overview, to set all of this, I actually have to be in the car so uh, Al, you go ahead and uh, kind of explain uh, kind of what the top and bar, top bars, bottom bars do and all of that. Um, and when you're done, I'll jump up in there. Okay, so uh, the, the bottom bars actually, when you're on the throttle, the bottom bars are actually pushing on the frame. Uh, and the angles for a radial tire, you need to have an upward angle on there in order to drive the tires down into the ground. So we're gonna check the angles on that. The top bars are actually pulling. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to check the lengths of the bar, uh, set the angles of the bar. We're also at that point going to be checking the ride height. To do all this though, we have to unhook the anti-roll bar. We want to do that just so that everything's, everything is free and it's not binding. Okay, so we're going to go about checking all that stuff over. We got to get Greg up in the car to do this. And once we're done setting all these bars, then we're gonna go ahead and move into scaling the car. We've just finished up setting all of our bar lengths and angles on the rear. Um, what we had to do is we had to extend them out of about a quarter of an inch to get where we wanted to be on that. So what we need to do next since the bar angles and the 
lengths are all set, we need to set our pinion angle. That is done with the upper bars. When we set the pinion angle for radial, what we do is we always set it at full droop. Because when you're going down the track and this thing hikes up and it goes up to full extension on there, that's where your pinion angle is going to be at. It's not going to be at ride height, but it's going to be at full droop. So that's why we're setting it there. So we just got done setting pinion angle, which is the difference between the drive shaft and your actual yoke on your pinion. Um, we've set ours up, we always set it at full droop. We've set ours up a half a degree of negative pinion angle. Uh, so now after we get done doing that, we're pretty much done with the suspension uh, changes that we want to make on this. Now it's time to scale the car. Okay, so uh, they are grabbing all of the parts for the car. Uh, I, got, I finally got to get out of here for, out of the car for a bit, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, we have to get the front end and doors on. Um, so that way we have all of our weight you know, corrected on there. We don't have methanol in here, but we do have weights on where the methanol sits to replicate the weight of the methanol. Um, so we will know exactly where we're at heading down track and uh, in the staging beam. So now since we have the suspension all set up, we've got the alignment done on the car. Now it's time to scale the car. And we have to scale the car with the driver in it. You don't want to scale it without because your car doesn't go down the track without a driver. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is using our Rebco one-way uh, scale system. And once Greg is in the car, what we're looking for is front to rear weight bias and also bite, which is the difference between the left rear tire and the right rear tire. We're gonna to try to get that in between that 80 to 100 pounds difference between those tires. Of course, the more torque your engine makes, the more bite you have to have in it because it wants to roll your car over to the right hand side and apply more weight to the right rear. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get that all set up. We'll focus on the scales here so you can see some of the numbers that we're doing. Well, okay, we're pretty close to that we got scales all set up. Greg is up in the car. And uh, we're pretty close. We've got just a little bit of bite that I want to actually put into it. Uh, I want to put in about another 15 pounds of bite in the rear. And we're going to go to the back there and show you how that's done. So when we're making changes to get weight percentages correct or add bite or take away bite, you only use one bar. Always just, it is for us, it is the right rear upper bar. So there's the upper bar. And what we're doing is we're taking and moving the bar by simply turning it. You never want to go, we call it by flats, like right here on the bar, how, these, how the nuts are on here. Those are called the flats. And all we're doing is we're turning it one flat or possibly two flats. And if you turn it one direction, it's going to take weight off of the tire. If you turn it the other direction, it's going to put weight onto the tire. Um, you never want to go more than two flats because if you go more than two, that means that you need to redistribute some weight around in your car. Hey guys, that, we're done. Uh, we got the scales all cleaned up, everything here. Um, got the car back down. I'm just doing some cleanup on the car. We're gonna get it wiped down, uh, take care of some stuff. There's some smudges and things all over the car, but that is it. You know, so we've got our steering set. Uh, so we know we're gonna be able to drive down the track nice and straight. Uh, we have our suspension set with all of our rear bars and shocks uh, adjustments done. And then we also have the scaling done. So, uh, I mean, this thing is gonna be pretty good to go. Uh, we are about uh, 40 pounds lighter than we were last year. Uh, last year we were across the scales 2670. Uh, this year, as you saw, we were 2630 with me in the car. We'll take that. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoy this and are able to maybe learn a little bit about your own suspension setup. And if you wanna have uh, the same thing done, we can take care of that right at Paradigm Automotive here. We can put it on the same alignment rack and everything. Give us a call, link is in the description below. Uh, make sure you visit the website, badinfluencegarage.com. We got a bunch of stuff up on there um, and we do have some new shirts that are gonna be released just before Georgia. So definitely uh, stay tuned for that. 
thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. And until next time, guys, be safe out there.